Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I decided I was going to do a tack cleaning Q&A so I have lots and lots of tack to do I have like three sets of boots and then Carly's tack her tack is not in the best condition so I thought well while I'm cracking on going away at that I may as well talk to you guys, make a video out of it so that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. But before we get into this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on that post notification bell, and let's get straight in to tack cleaning. We have my saddle, which is over there, which I'm going to go get later. That's the last thing I'm going to clean. We have boots to do. We have Carly's hoof boots. We have my general riding slash yard boots. These are toggy ones that I just wear all the time when I ride. And we have my brand new Dublin fancy boots that need a bit of a clean because I tried them out and they are amazing and these are ones that i'm going to be like going out in for like special occasions because i don't want to wear them all the time because they were they are just amazing i love them but we're trying not to ruin them and wear them too much so yeah i i do hope you like this video i'm going to be answering questions from this phone this is my old phone i am filming on my normal phone so we're just going to have to excuse the fact that how like crusty dusty and crashed and broken as phone is so yeah let's get straight on into it i did the hoof boots off camera because you know we do get we get very dirty over here um I do very much highly recommend them love those hoof boots they're pretty easy to clean i literally just wipe them down with antibacterial wipes but i do have to clean them every time she wears them obviously if you want to go see my video on that, it's on my channel, a bit further down, go look. Right, first question. We are now on to the boots. We are on to the boots. Right, my first question is, when did you start riding? So, I would say there wasn't like a proper point where I started riding. I was kind of like born into horses. My mum um, has owned horses most of her life too. She wasn't born into horses though. But when I was born, she was working at a yard and um, I used to be down there. She used to take me down there like after nursery and things like that. So, and I think from the age of like, I'd say like six months she used to sit me on loads of the horses there but I think I properly started riding um, and having lessons when I was like three I think I believe and it was down there that's where I kind of like learnt how to ride i wouldn't say i learned properly but i was learning down there second question is uh do you regret getting carly so as you know i was also i was selling carly at one point um do i regret getting her absolutely not um we, I've been through so much with Carly over like the nearly three years this year that I've had her. Tea again, but I have it. Um, yeah, we've been through a lot. We've had so many ups and downs. Um, I don't know, just like when I went to go and see her, 
um, we just clicked, you know, um, I rode her, the person we were buying her off rode her, obviously they rode her first, my mum rode her, I rode last, the amount of times that I've been interrupted in this video, great, anyway, um, just out of everybody I was getting like the best transitions, and I don't know, we just clicked, and that is why I got her. I did go to see, like, I want to say two or three other horses as well as Carly. Not there, but I went to go and see, like, two other horses as well as Carly. They were just, like, at the time, there just wasn't quite what I was looking for. Um, and Carly was not expected, I was not expecting to buy her or like her or anything like that, purely because I, at the time, was looking for, um, a forever horse, my first horse, kind of, as I, I did have a horse before Carly, which was on loan, but only for three months, it only lasted three months. But, um, I was looking for a forever horse, um, and I was looking for a horse around, like, three, four years old that had done, done a little bit, maybe done a bit of cross country or done, been to some competitions before, just done something, um, tea, yes, tea, um, yeah, I was not gonna get a thoroughbred, and I actually told myself, when I started looking for horses, and I told my mum, I really don't want a thoroughbred, and that is one thing I told her, if there's a thoroughbred, we are not gonna go see it, and I didn't want a horse that wasn't, like, hadn't done something for much. I wanted something that had been produced nicely. Obviously, it wouldn't have too much education because of the age that I was looking for. But yeah. And then we came to Carly. I also wasn't too sure I wanted a mare because I didn't want to, not all mares, but some mares, you know, they have the hormones and just some problems. And I, I don't know, but in the past, past mares and also Jolie put me off having mares. So I really wanted gelding and I got a five-year-old thoroughbred mare who hadn't really done that much which was kind of the opposite that I wanted but somehow the opposite is what I had and got so all in all and overall I don't regret having her no I don't I don't regret it so the third question if I find it in my phone is are you keeping Carly long term? So, if you asked me this question earlier this year, I would have said no, absolutely not. However, the tables have turned. So, I obviously, as I said, have had my ups and downs with Carly, and from um seeing her and trying her out to what she was like at home she just wasn't when i went to go and try her we had a click you know and we really got on together but however when she was at home and i brought her home i started doing things here it just was like i was riding a different horse it just wasn't the same thing um and I don't know whether that was just down to Carly and being in a new place or it was down to 
something the person that we got her off did, which I want to say that wasn't the case. We found out why. Um, but yeah, it was a bit of a roller coaster. Anyway, I do apologise for that. My phone just cut off. So, I have already started soaping, by the way. If you're wondering what I'm using, I'm using this leather balm stuff. Yes, that's what I'm using. Um, anyway, um, I was going through a big roller coaster and we just weren't seeing eye to eye. And I, it had been two years and I was like, okay, well, we, there was, we had good days, we had bad days. Like some days we were all right. Some days I just felt like she was just against me all the time. And I obviously had to try and think whether it was gonna work. So she was up for sale. Um, also, while she was up for sale, the first person that actually came to see her is now my rider instructor. Don't know how that, well, I know how it happened. Um, that's a story for another time. Um, yeah, so... She was up for sale. Um, things happened, and in the time that she was up for sale, that's the time that me and Carly started to click. And I don't know what happened, whether it was the fact that I was feeling like, oh, like I'm not gonna have a horse again, what happened, but we clicked while we were trying to sell her. So, I bit the bullet, I let people come see her, even though at this point I really didn't want to sell her, but I was like, well, I've gone through it now, and there's like no going back. So anyway, we went into another lockdown, and there were like, um, things that were not allowing people to come and view her, and there were, we had like, two or three people that nearly ended up buying her but because of covid and certain situations it wasn't happening so i was like okay i'm not putting myself through this and i had the um it was just in that moment i was just like well obviously this is not meant to be i'm just meant to have carly so ever since then carly has been and is going to be my long-term horse so it was kind of just like took me a while to click with carly um and she's just like so used to like previously having so many people on her and she was not used to just having one person with her so and because it's usually just me who rides her, sometimes my riding instructor rides her. And occasionally my mum will ride her, but it's mostly me riding her. Um, yeah, we just really clicked. So, the next question is, what is your favourite discipline? And then question five is, what is Carly's favourite discipline? So... I didn't know this really, I wasn't too sure, but about Carly, not about me. My favourite discipline is cross country by far, I would absolutely live to do cross country every single day, but obviously I can't do that. Um, Carly is, and it's not until I realised that I didn't really pay attention before. I've taken Carly cross country. She's been cross country with me ooh, two or three times, I think, we've been cross country. And all of those times have been with the pony club that I used to be in. Um, yeah, so 
Um, and it's not until that we like we clicked that I realised um, what she enjoyed the most that I've done with her. So I've done quite a bit with Car Carly. I've I've done, well, she's done, while she's been with me, she's done unaffiliated show jumping. Um, she's done um, cross-country schooling. Um, she's done... I think she's also done she's also done unaffiliated sh uh, dressage so we've done all like disciplines with her a couple times competition wise and in general um a few times so and out of all of them she just seems the happiest of course cross country so me and Carly do have the same favorite discipline which I'm very happy about and I'm going to use that to our advantage in future and I'm extremely excited about that very extremely excited for the future but that will bring us on to different questions it is what do you want to achieve with Carly by the end of the summer? So, hmm. so everything's really happening from today. So you might notice that I'm wearing the same clothing as a different video, which will be the video of bringing horses home from the yard. I don't know whether that's gonna go up before this video, but most likely it will. Um, because I'm filming this on the same day, I'm literally leaving at 12 o'clock and it is nine, ten past nine, so I am leaving soon. Anyway, um, what am I hoping to achieve by the end of the summer? I am hoping that I am going to be able to get Carly's confidence up a little bit more jumping so um, especially now because we have our arena I'm going to be doing a lot more jumping with her a lot more like grids and practicing courses I want to be able to work up to do some unaffiliated show jumping with her so I will most likely be um, going to some show jumping clinics, hopefully having some lessons with my instructor jumping and possibly some other people that I know um, just to get her up there. I am very much hoping that I can soon, maybe by the end of the summer, maybe not um go cross country schooling and i really hope i can do that but i don't know if i will be able to but i am hoping to go cross country schooling whether it's me who takes carly or it is my instructor most likely it will be me and my instructor will be teaching but occasionally we do have a little swap um yeah i'm really hoping to do that um, what else do I want to achieve by the end of the summer? I really would like to achieve, um, because me and Carly have mostly been, um, working a lot on flat work and I've been trying to school her, but that is um not my strong suit really so it's kind of just been like a learning process of me and her 
um, doing that together. So I really want to get us going better on the flat, both of us. So I really want to be able to get some good scores and go and do a little dressage competition. Hopefully want to get her out and do that. And then also in August, there is, which will probably be the first show that I take her to, um, in the village that I live at, there is a show there. And I'm really hoping to um, just get her out there. And even though it's a show where they're like ridden classes and things like that, and like in hand and best turned out and things like that, um, even though that's not what I want to do with her, it's just going to be something to get her out and used to being around loads of horses, used to being around just like, you know, like the busy competition routines and things like that. So that is kind of what I'm hoping to achieve by the end of the summer. Not sure whether I'm going to be able to achieve all of that, but we will, we will see. Next question is... What are some of your goals and things you're hoping to do in the future? This kind of carries on a little bit from what I was talking about before. So I'm really going to, like the rest of this year, I'm going to really focus on getting Carly good at um, all three disciplines of um, dressage, show jumping and cross country and get her really comfortable with it and going really well. So I would really like to maybe do my first hunter trials on Carly by the end of this year. That's a goal that I want to do. And also another goal that I want to achieve by the end of this year is being able to go to an unaffiliated one day event with her because that is kind of like a future thing that I really want to do. I really want to do eventing with her. Um, just because she, I know that one day she's going to be amazing at it. It's something I've always wanted to do. So that is kind of like a goal. Not too sure whether I'm going to get there or not. But if I don't and it's like the start of next year, I won't be mad. And also another thing that I want to achieve is... Um, being able to start BE, that won't be at the end of this year though, that will be in future years to come. Maybe at the end of next year possibly I could be doing BE, you never know, there's always a possibility. But yeah, that is something I really want to do with Carly. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I would like to do with her what I would like to achieve so I really I don't know I just really want to I also want to get her really comfortable with bathing because Carly does not like baths in the slightest and this isn't her being naughty or anything like that. She just generally gets really anxious um, when it comes to baths. And I'm not too sure why, but she's always been like that since I've got her. Um, yeah, I really want to get her used to it. And recently I have been, um, when I've been working her and she's been sweaty, um, as you've seen in one of my last videos I did and I did like tack up and ride with me and afterwards I gave her a quick wash down and then I shampooed her where the sweat was and then obviously cleaned that off and um yeah I just really want to get her used to having baths and things like that because obviously she's going to have to be bathed for events and I really just, I really don't like stressing her out. 
So other things that I would like to achieve, and it goes with what I've literally just said before, I want to be able to complete a whole entire season of BE on Carly and maybe win like a championships on her or something like that. Yeah, I, 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 I do have some quite big goals I'd like to do. I'd like to also... Obviously, to start off with, we're only going to be doing, like, the 80s, finish whole season of that, maybe. But in the future, like, long future, I would really, really like to get Carly going up to maybe, like, a B100. Maybe one day a little bit more. But we'll, we'll see. We will see how she hopes and we're just going to take every step at a time um, um yeah so of course with carly she has been very slowly produced and although she is now seven she actually has the mental age of a five-year-old um what i would consider a five-year-old so yeah but i am glad she's been slowly produced she's not been overdone anything so she's not going to i'm not gonna blow her brains out or anything like that and she's been really nicely brung on you know slowly at a really nice slow pace which is really good so yeah i'm very happy with where she's at at the minute these goals will, will come slowly, so they won't come quickly and I'm not going to rush her into anything, we're just going to take our time. I just want her to stay at the pace that we're going at the minute, so it has taken me a very long time to get where I am now, where I can start going out and doing a lot more. But I just really didn't want to overdo it with Carly because also when she has falls and things like that as in like i fall off or she knocks herself on a jump really hard or something she uh, confident go her confidence goes down and then we start to have issues so i don't want that to happen like it has previously it has happened once before so yeah on to the next question which is uh, will you ever get another horse? This also comes in with my plan of the future and goals and things like that that I would like to achieve. So, um, I've been talking and I've put this on the wrong one. That's nice to know. Um, yeah, so... Yes, I will be getting another horse. But it will not be in the near future. It will most likely be in, like, the next... I want to say next five years. And it will be when I'm at a point with Carly where I can literally just like take her out and she's doing well and I've got her to where I want her to be. Or maybe not even that. I don't know. I honestly don't know. But it will be in the near future, in the next five years, and that's all I can really say. But I can tell you now that it's not going to be... The size of Carly. I, in the near future, will not be looking for another horse. It most likely will be a between um, I want to say 14, 3, and 15, 2. I will do not want anything that is the same size as Carly. That's not what I'll be looking for. But yes, the answer is yes. I 
will be getting another horse, but not anytime soon. Next question is, what's the highest you have ever jumped and what horse was it on? So, I have, the biggest I've jumped is a metre, maybe a metre five. I've done it twice, only, and only twice, so far. Um, and the first time I ever did, it was, this one was a metre, the other one not too sure about. But the first time I did jump a metre was on Sparkles and it was um, kind of on purpose. So the story behind this is I was in a pony club rally and I was being taught by Simon Greaves, I believe. Um, and we were going around the course and then there was this there was this white barrel in the water and someone in the group asked if we could jump it and he said no we are not going uh we're, no because it was too big and he didn't think that well he didn't not that he didn't think that we could jump it but it's just not what we were doing in the lesson so um yeah, they're not the kind of, we weren't jumping that big in the lesson. This was quite a while ago as well. And then we asked him how big it is and he said it was a metre. So then I basically, from that day, set myself the goal and I was like, okay, next time I come here without the pony club on my own and I come cross country schooling here, I am going to do that barrel in the water. And I did. I came back a couple months later and I jumped it and I was very scared to do it because I've never jumped a metre in my life. Um, and I, I think it was like the day before that jump was in a B100, which was just an amazing achievement for me. So I was extremely happy with that and that I got to do it. And then the other time, which I'm not too sure actually how big this jump is, it was either a metre or a metre five. Um, it was at Pony Club again. I was on Carly this time and I have videos of it. Um, we were jumping a hedge and I, wasn't expecting it to be as big as it was when I went up to it because it was lower one side. The uh, On the approach it was, the ground was higher so it looked smaller and then on the other side the ground was lower so it looked higher and it was higher the other side and yeah I just wasn't expecting it to be that big and that was on Carly. So I finished my bridle, we are now on to my saddle. Um, I'm going to be down here, apologise if you can't hear me, I don't know, but I'm here. So, clean saddle on the floor. Next question is, uh, what was your la your worst, what was your worst fall? Between two, I'm going to tell you both of them. So, first one was on Joey, my first pony, and I was um, riding in our bottom field here, and it was getting it was getting a little dark, you know, but it wasn't too bad. It was getting a little dark. Um, 
we were doing a canter transition and there were sheep in this field because we had sheep we only had five at the time and one of the sheep with horns got spooked by i have absolutely no clue what but it shot out and went in between his back legs and like caught his foot with its horn and yeah he were, obviously was very scared of that and um i ended up falling off he went crazy and nearly fell over and kept tripping anyway i didn't break anything but i was in so much shock and i um couldn't get up and i really hurt my knee and i also broke my pinky one of my other worst falls which was on carly was um i was on a hack and we went to a stone field yeah it just probably wasn't the best one to go on because there was only like one bit that i could properly get on to um it wasn't the best so it was kind of like a you canter up canter back kind of thing cantering up she was as good as go cantering back on the other hand tried to start with going back and then i was like okay well she hasn't put a foot wrong so we're gonna go into canter when it's canter she was fine but then suddenly she started getting faster and faster and faster and faster and faster and faster and she just completely got really excited and bronked me off and yeah we fell and i went skidding down this stubble field on my bum for at least two meters and she decided that it'd also be really funny to when i got up and went to go and walk over to her just about to grab the reins to go and catch her and she ran off and she ran down the road so then of course with my little legs i had to instead of going down the road where she'd just gone i had to jump a ditch run across another stubble field and then i ran down the rest of the road to go and find her and the way we'd come we'd come down a track and it was like a bridge over and there was two ditches either side and i got really scared because she disappeared into nowhere and obviously i've always had i've already had that um been in that situation where obviously Joni went into the ditch and ran off so i got really scared but in the end she didn't actually go into the ditch um she stopped at the end of the track basically and was just sat there eating the grass so yeah that's kind of what happened but it was a really horrible experience and a fall as well and i wasn't really paying much attention to whether i was hurt or not obviously i wasn't hurt that bad because i ran after my horse but um yeah i was just completely focused on carly so yeah i did end up spraining my ankle not good and i hurt my wrist as well but that was my two worst falls so the next question is who are your top favorite professional riders okay so i have like a top three can't pick who's the best out of the three but the my top favorite professional riders will have to be uh pippa funnel um william fox pip and the legend himself mark todd because who could not absolutely love my pop and also the next question after that is if you could have a lesson with anybody or be taught by anybody who would it be and my answer to that question 
would by far, without a doubt, be Mark Todd because he's amazing. He's just amazing. So that is the answer to that question. The last question for this video is when was the last time you fell off? Last time I fell off was probably um, was on Carly. I know that for sure. I think the last time I fell off was when I fell off on the stubble field and I had one of my worst falls. So that was the last time I fell off, which that was last summer. So I have not fallen off in a year. Touch wood, I don't. There's wood behind there, I promise. Yeah, so that is it. But that is that, that was the last question and that concludes the video. And I've also finished my saddle. Guys, so much for watching this video. This video has been stressful. Not stressful. No, not stressful. This video has been hectic. As you can tell, look at my hair. We started this video and my hair was fine. Clearly not now. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tack cleaning and Q&A. Um, uh, and now you know a little bit more about me and Carly and what we're going to be doing in the future and things like that. So I hope you're all going to be excited for that. And um, that's it. See you next time.